Welcome to how to train your chatbot using NLP with Core.ai's Bot Builder. This video walks through the natural language approach Core.ai's Bot Builder uses, how to train your bot using synonyms and patterns, and how to manage your bot's standard responses to make the user experience more conversational. In this video, we will explore the basic steps for training a bot to understand conversation. We'll also see how we can enhance the user experience by changing the responses given out by a bot. Before we dive deep into how we do this, uh, let's explore, let's uh, understand the approach used by Core.ai's NLP engine to understand language. Essentially, we have two uh, engines behind the scene that's used for understanding language. Um, the first one is based on something called a chat script, which is, a, which is the primary engine for understanding something we call as fundamental meaning. The basic uh, idea here is that when a user uses a bot, he comes in with some expectation of achieving some goal, right? And that can be uh, captured with a, a simple, succinct um, name for the task, right? So, so let's say, a, for example, the user wants to make a transfer. The most simplest way of uh, saying that is make transfer. So it is essential that when we build a bot and name a task, we name it as short and uh, small as small as possible and at the same time capturing enough information about what that task is typically this would be a word uh, a verb or an, a verb and a noun combination so with a subject and an object predicate so this way uh, we can capture the fundamental objective of that task with that fundamental meaning now the chat script engine uses this fundamental description of that task to come up with various variations of how a user can potentially ask for that particular task. So again, when you say the name of the task is make transfer, very verbose way of saying, I would like to make a transfer from my checking account. Now the engine understands that well, from all this longer utterance, the fundamental meaning is again, make a transfer. And that's how it latches on to that uh, simple uh, on that single task uh, and eliminates the other possible matches. This is a, a very scalable and a fast uh, approach for doing uh, intent recognition. Uh, and it uses uh, the basic principles of computational linguistics by basically understanding the structure of the sentence uh, of an utterance, understanding the grammatical parts of speech within that utterance, understanding the semantics of that statement to uh, match it to that fundamental meaning. This is not just basic pattern recognition. There is a, a, quite a lot of complexity behind the scenes, but at a fundamental level, at an abstract level, you can think about it as taking that fundamental meaning and expanding it to various combinations of saying something. The advantage for a developer with this is that if you capture the fundamental meaning as the name of that task, uh, then there is very little training that you have to do to actually enhance it to understand various forms of communication. Of, of uh, communicating that particular intent. We also use a, a machine learning approach, which is more uh, statistical in approach, and which uses various variations of uh, saying that particular intent, um, which is the input to the, to the machine learning algorithm. And it then uses those variations to latch down onto the, um, to the task. The engine behind the scenes uses both this approach. So whenever a conversation comes in, it uses both these approaches to score uh, the possible match and then uses a hybrid scoring mechanism to uh, identify which of the uh, various possible um, tasks could be the one matching. And then they use um, uh, the scoring from each of those to uh, kind of augment and uh, complement the scoring to come up with a unique uh, match whenever possible. So this approach kind of helps us in quickly overcoming the benefits and drawbacks of each of these uh, this systems in isolation and come, uh, and come up with a more uh, comprehensive scoring mechanism. Now let's see how we do this in the, uh, in the bot. So going back to our training bot here, so we go to the natural language tab to look at the various options for training the bot and enhancing the uh, responses. So you have a training section here where you can try out various uh, uh, conversations and see what does the bot understand. So when you say uh, basic things like greetings, hi and hello, they don't match to it, match any task, but the bot's still able to respond to that. And we'll see how that's done in just a moment. But the task that we build, for example, get post. 
right? So we say get post, even though the name of the task is get post, it's still able to extract the uh, the uh, no, uh, the the variation within that sentence and actually match it to that particular utterance. So can you uh, can you say something like can you get my latest post? That also matches to get post because we are it, it's still a, a different variation of the uh, the the fundamental meaning of that task. Now what if it, if instead of saying get I say something like grab. In that case, in this case, this also does work, and this is because we have some training that's out of the box that helps the bot to understand that well, grab and get mean the same thing, right? Uh, these are not dictionary uh, synonyms, but they kind of mean the same thing in this context, in this particular context. So the bot is trained out of the box to understand these kind of various variations of the conversation. Now, what if instead of grab, I say pull? Now here in this case, it does not understand, right? So these are scenarios where we'll have to add a little bit more uh, training for the bot to understand. So what are the options for training, right? So let's look at, and we'll come back to machine learning in just a moment. Let's look at the synonyms approach. So uh, now we see that the bot is already seeded with a bunch of words and certain synonyms. So we see that the word get is already mapped with the word grab. Right. So when we said, uh, "Can you grab all the uh, grab a post for me?" It understood that grab means something very similar to get, and that's why it, it was able to match it up. So what we need to do for it to understand the word pull is that we'll just add pull as a sort of synonym to get in this particular context for this bot. Right. So we just say that, and we go back to the testing tab, and now we can say, uh, "Can you?" Now it understands that the word pull essentially means getting that post and now it works. So you can see that the, the training required for, uh, for understanding most of the basic conversation is very simple. Uh, there's a lot of out-of-the-box training. All you have to do is just customize it for or your domain-specific uh, terminologies and vocabulary uh, to, to, by just adding those synonyms. Now that's a very uh, simple case where you have synonym, uh, right, where you can match different possible words to the fundamental meaning. But uh, what if I say something completely uh, different, right? Something very uh, idiomatic, like say, hey, what's the latest in the blogging world? Right? So in this case, again, that does not match uh, any, any intent. Now I can, uh, I can go back to the synonym tab or uh, train it, or I can actually train it right here and say that, well, when, I was, when someone says something like this, I may want to say show all posts. So that's my uh, objective here, right? Now, again, there is no one-to-one -one mapping because uh, this is more a idiomatic way of saying this, right? So instead of adding this as synonyms, we can add this as patterns, right? So that's, that's, uh, that's one option for doing this. So I can say this is sort of a pattern instead of being a syn uh, instead of matching the synonyms. Right, so I can add it here to the patterns, and now any patterns that's similar to that would also match up to this. So now when I rerun it, it matches show all posts. And the third option I have here is I'll say, you know what, I'm going to just think about five or fifteen different ways of saying getting all posts. Uh, so bring me, uh, let's say, bring me my, bring me the news. So let's say that's again another way of saying show me all my latest blog posts, right? So uh, I'll I can put in many variations of this and just uh, train it, and then the bot would be able to understand that. Um, well, when when I say bring me my news, it's again it has to match this particular task, right? So, and again I can either do that from the training window or I can go back to the uh, to one of the specified tabs here uh, and say okay. I can just match this show all post or task to this utterance uh, or many other utterance that I can add here and all I need to do is click the train button. So those, uh, the synonyms are here and the patterns, again I can uh, reach the patterns through this uh, menu item too, right? The next thing I'm going to jump on is to define the standard responses. 
Um, so well, for example, I can say things like, hi, uh, how are you? So, and now again, let me try hi again, right? So you can see that every time there's a slight variation, right? So this way, this keeps the conversation interesting and not very repetitive and uh, boring, right? So this kind of uh, small, uh, small talk is done using the standard responses. And you can see that there are a lot of variations for the standard responses here, right? So for example, greeting. Uh, here are some of the standard default greetings. And I can add additional uh, uh, greetings uh, for hi and hellos, right? So I can say uh, additional variations and the bot will kind of randomly pick one of them up uh, when, when it ma matches that intent. And these are not true task intent, this is just the small talk kind of intent. Um, now, going back to the task, uh, I can say, okay, show me, pull my latest post. Right, so now I get a, a statement saying here, okay, you have selected this uh, task from this um, bot and type the answer, uh, type the, what is the post ID, right? I can say the post ID and it will, uh, fetch the uh, latest post uh, with that uh, with that title here. I could change again this. I, I may not like this uh, default message here. I can go back to the standard responses. Just search for that particular message and say, okay, here is a statement. Okay, you selected um, task name from this board name, right? So these are all templated here, and I can say instead of this message, I can I can just change it to make it a little bit more, uh, better in terms of experience and say maybe something like I can help you with that and then prompt for the field right and then prompt for the field uh, the next line here right so I just save that and now I say get my latest post and say, I can help you with that. What is the post ID, right? So this way we can change the experience by just changing the standard responses here.